could you be binge eating? In this video, I'm gonna tell you what binge eating even means, and then at the end, I'm going to give you a gift that shows you what to do if you are binge eating so you can stop and also never have an urge to binge again. I'm Brittany Brown, founder at Beating Binge Eating and leader of the Food Freedom Forever movement. I remember what it felt like the first time I realized that what I was doing with my food actually had a name and it was called binging. For a while, I thought that I just had a self-control problem. I thought that I couldn't stick to a diet. I thought that I just needed the perfect diet, the perfect plan, the perfect willpower, whatever that might be, to break free. So I was constantly on the computer scouring, searching for answers outside of myself to give me what I thought was the answer to freedom. And I remember one time, it was after a like nasty binge, lots of food, it didn't even feel like me. It felt like something else took over and, you know, bag of chips and God knows what later, I, I was on the internet just looking for answers. And I think I typed in something like, I can't stop eating. And what popped up was a million ads for binge eating disorder treatment. And I was shocked. I was like, do I have an eating disorder? You know, what's happening? So I pulled up the website and I started reading about what binge eating disorder was. And disclaimer, you can be binge eating or have binge-like behavior without having full-blown binge eating disorder. And there are different things that qualify both, but for this video, what I'm going to talk about is just the binge-like behavior because I think that a lot of people feel like out of control with food, but they don't quite feel like they have binge eating disorder. And the, a lot of the women we help are, yes, the women with binge eating disorder, but those women right in the middle who just just feel out of control with food, feel like they have no willpower, feel like they can't get it right or can't stick to something. And a lot of that is still binging, even if there's not a full-blown eating disorder attached to it. So here it is. What is a binge? So a binge can mean a lot of food, like a large quantity of food. There are times where my binges looked like large quantities of food. And then there are times where my binges just looks like I, or felt like I kind of lost control. And so for me, um, uh, what really has to do or what really constitute uh, constitutes a binge is the energy behind it. And if it has a compulsive energy, if it has like, oh my gosh, once I start, I can't stop. Once I get the idea or the urge, the want for this food. It's not like a normal walking by an ice cream shop and I want an ice cream. It's like, I want the ice cream. Should I have the ice cream? Can't have the ice cream. Don't have the ice cream. I want the ice cream. I want the ice cream. I want the ice cream. Stopping by drive through to get ice cream, eating ice cream really fast, and then wanting more. There is this compulsive type nature to it. Another sign of it is a lot of negotiation. So it's not just like, ooh, this feels good. I'm going to have this, or I'm going to let myself have some pizza, or I'm going to go out and have friends with this. It's so much plotting and planning and negotiation. And there's almost like a different voice, like something else in your own voice that's not the true you reasoning with you to try to get you to do it. Like eat this now. You can, you can, you can have it. You deserve it. Finish it all. You already ruined it. You have to start back over tomorrow. There's a lot of plotting, a lot of planning, a lot of pointing, and a lot of negotiation between the true you, the you in your power, and this part of you that's telling you to binge. Sometimes there is no negotiation though. Sometimes just autopilot, like something takes over you and has you eat. And you don't even realize what you're doing until you're half a bag deep, elbow deep I call it, into whatever bag of who knows what, and you just completely lost control with food and you don't know what happened. This could be really oftentimes in private, so a big sign of it is it's secretive. You might feel guilt or shame or a little bit of embarrassment, 
or this could be at a party or with friends or at a dinner out. Say you're around food you don't let yourself have often and you feel like you just lose control of it or you can't get it out of your mind. Like you know you shouldn't have that appetizer but you keep thinking about it and going to it and that kind of thing. That is binge-like behavior. So notice how you don't have to eat every appetizer on the plate to be experiencing binge-like behavior. And that's one thing I really want you to take away. If you are experiencing any compulsion, any pull to food that feels bigger and out of alignment than your true self, if you are experiencing any once I can't stop phenomenon, it doesn't mean you have sugar addiction, it doesn't mean that you necessarily are this disordered person, you just might be wired to binge or set up to binge or be acting in a way with your food, with your body that's setting you up to have this behavior, have this compulsion. So I hope that helps. I hope that clarifies what you know we feel like a binge is here. And please know a binge can be on carrots and a binge can be on cake. And a binge can be on one piece of cake or 20 pieces of cake. It's not the quantity and the type as much, even though yes, for the, the disorder we'll call it, a lot of it has to do with the type, it's the energy, it's the feeling of something having control over you or you not being in control in your power with your food, that's really a binge. One last piece that I forgot to mention is the emotional capacity. A lot of people do tend to binge eat from an emotional plate, meaning, place, meaning stressful day, crazy day, sad day, end of the day when the thoughts have time to kind of set in because your busyness has um, quieted and you feel like you need food, like there is this need or this pull to have it to calm down what's happening on the inside. This is more emotional eating, but it still has those binge-like qualities and you can break free of this no matter what you do with your emotions, you can still break free of the pattern. And if you need support, if this feels like you and you need support breaking free of this pattern, then please check out just below this training in the description. There's going to be a link to a training that I made for you. A training that walks you through this, gets you to the other side in a systematic way of binge and emotional eating and sets you up for what we call food freedom forever. Food freedom forever is freedom, ease, bliss and you in your power with your food, where you can have a piece of candy with not wanting all, where you naturally are pulled to foods that make you come and feel alive and will you f where you feel in a place of peace with your body and with your food so you can go out and live your life fully. So check that link in the description to the free training. And if you liked this information or want any more trainings, videos, that kind of thing in the world of body and food, click subscribe, click, and then leave me a comment. Let me know what you like because we are making videos every week and I will be here supporting you so you can find food freedom forever.